a rather good anonymous poem from the first part of the 17th century called Preparations. Yet if his majesty, our sovereign lord, should of his own accord friendly himself invite and say, I'll be your guest tomorrow night, how should we stir ourselves, call and command all hands to work? Let no man idle stand, set me fine Spanish tables in the hall, see they be fitted all, let there be room to eat, and order taken that there want no meat, see every sconce and candlestick made bright, that without tapers they may give a light. Look to the presence, are the carpets spread, the daisy or the head, the cushions in the chairs, and all the candles lighted on the stairs? Perfume the chambers, and in any case let each man give attendance in his place. Thus, if the king were coming, would we do, and to a good reason too, for tis a duteous thing to show all honour to an earthly king, and after all our travel and our cost, so he be pleased to think no labour lost. But at the coming of the King of Heaven, all set at six and seven, we wallow in our sin, Christ cannot find a chamber in the inn. We entertain him always like a stranger, and, as at first, still lodge him in the manger. <laughs>